Hey guys, welcome back to another Lady Friend tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about Me6 and the custom commands you can have for your Discord server with them. So let's just get on right into it. Like I said, we're looking at a Me6 application, so we're just going to do what we always do, log in with Discord for Me6, since it is a Me6, or uh, it's a Discord bot. Just hit authorize. All right, so we're logging in. Um, it automatically selects my server. You can go to my servers if you need to be able to select one, but that is the one I moderate for. So go to dashboard. From there, we're going to plugins. We're going to be looking at utilities and management, which is the server management top one. And you have custom commands. We're just going to enable the plugin to start. And you can see the little sad me six because we don't have any custom commands. So to add a command, as you can see, we have zero of three. We can have three because upgrading to premium. Um, but add a new custom command. There's a couple different things we do to set up these commands. Um, to start, there's templates they have, but these are also um, premiums unless you want text command. Text command is the only template that is free. Um, kind of want to exit this, so let me just close this. Go back to a new. We're not going to use a template. I'm going to go ahead and do it from scratch. So the command section is what is the actual command in the chat. So say I want it to be a a, a command that pulls up my stream schedule. I'll make the command schedule. So they just type exclamation schedule. Um, I can add multiple actions. So add an action. I can have more than one action though for this command. So bot sends in channel or bot responds with. Um, it just depends on how you want the bot to reply. If you want it to be in a specific channel, you'll want this. If you just want it to respond with, so it responds to wherever that person did the command, you'll do bot responds with. But other, if you want it in a specific channel, you do it here. And then you, from here, you would select the channel you want it to reply in, and then you'll type this message. You can also do random. So if you want multiple different messages that it'll randomly choose from, you'll do random. You can also do embed, which is where it's going to be the embedded. You have the stripe side color here that you can choose from a couple different options. You'll have the author name. So who's it going to be from? Because I can have it embed a message from me. You'll want the author URL. So this is going to be the, the URL for the user. Um, this also works with like the web hooks if you're not familiar, the title of the text, and then the message template. You can also do images and footer text. And that's if you do an embedded. From there, we also have the permissions. You can have who's banned from using the command. So if I want to ban myself from using the command, or if I want to ban channels from using the command. I can also do where it's allowed if I just want everyone allowed to do it. Or if I only want very, like, I only want admins to be allowed to use this. I could set it so only admins are allowed to use this command. So you can choose between banning people from the thing and channels or allow where you just select specific roles. Um, additional settings. If you want a command description just to explain what the command is, you would type it up in here. My schedule. That's what we will call this. And you can also set up a cooldown. So you have no cooldown, a user cooldown where it's designated to the user who used it or you could do an entire server cooldown just depends on what you want and then you would set it by seconds and or you set the interval you want by number and then you could go by seconds minutes hours or days um, you can have it do not reply to command if it gets used on a cooldown or you can have it delete the command usage altogether if used on a cooldown um, and then you would hit save new command and from there you would discard for me because I'm not keeping it. Yeah, that is how you set up then custom commands for Me6. Really easy, great tool so you can have some commands in your Discord server just like in your Twitch stream. But thank you guys so much for watching and just being here. I hope this video was, in, was helpful for you. If you have any questions on anything, ask in the comments down below or you can pop into my Twitch stream or Discord to ask me directly. The links for those are in the description below. Remember to sub for more and as always guys, Happy uh, streaming.